categorical variables are variables that don't really have any order. So for example, a country would be a categorical variable with va values of Finland, Sweden and Norway. Our prestige data set has a categorical variable of occupation type and the categories are blue color, white color and professional workers. So how do we deal with this kind of variables? When you have a categorical variable as an independent variable, things are relatively straightforward. When you have a categorical variable as a dependent variable, then things will get a bit more complicated. We will now cover the case of a categorical variable as an independent variable. So our data looks like that. So our prestige, when we take a summary of the prestige data set the variable type, we can see that there are frequencies. So there are no means or standard deviations or such, just frequencies of different values. We have 44 blue collar professions, 31 white professional professions and 23 white collar occupations. And then we have uh, four missing values. So how do we deal with that in a regression analysis? We can't put that as an independent variable because a unit difference doesn't make a sense. We can't say that the difference between blue color to professional is one unit, difference between professional and white color is one unit, and difference between blue color and, and white color is, is, is two units. It doesn't make, make sense because we don't know uh, what's the uh, difference between, we can't say that there is a, a magnitude of difference between these values and we can't say that there's an order. So how do we deal with that? Uh, we use something called dummy variables. So we code our data like that. So that's a, a subset of our data and we have the variable type here. Then each uh, observation in the data set gets a, dummy gets a code for one of the dummy variables. So our dummy variables are type blue color, type professional and type white color. And then the dummy in indicates that this first occupation is a professional occupation. So type professional gets one, others get zeros. Then we have a uh, type blue color is one for this blue color occupation, others are zero. So these are dummy or indicator variables and they indicate which occupation or which category each occupation belongs to. Then when we add the dummies to a regression analysis, state on R can do that automatically for you. So you don't have to do that uh, coding manually. If you want to use SPSS, you have to manually create the dummies. So SPSS doesn't simplify your life that much in that regard. Then uh, let's take a look at the regression results. When you add a categorical variable in a regression analysis in R and in Stata, then uh, we have uh, the categorical variable here. R will automatically note that this is a categorical variable and it will produce two dummy variables, type professionals and type white colors. So how do we interpret those results and where is the blue color profession? Well, first thing that we need to understand is that uh, every time when you have a categorical variable and dummy variables to uh, use that in a regression analysis, one of those categories is left out. So we are leaving out the, uh, the blue color category here. And now these effects are, what is the average uh, prestige of professional, how much is the average difference between a professional occupation and a blue collar occupation? How much is the difference between white collar occupation and a blue collar occupation? So these regression coefficients uh, refer to uh, differences between the occupations and one occupation is always used or one class, one uh, category in the categorical variable is used as a reference category. So these can be interpreted only, with, only against the blue color. If we want to compare blue color and, and, uh, or professional white color, then we can just uh, indicate manually which one or manually include the dummies or indicate manually which of these categories is left out. But that's, uh, that's more advanced. One more thing that's, that we note here for the first time is that uh, R tells that there are missing observations from the data. So we got four observations were missing because they didn't have type variable. Quite often when uh, you have some missing data, then the default action is just to uh, 
omit those cases for which a variable doesn't have any values. There are other more advanced techniques, but if I, the number of observations that you drop is small compared to the overall number of data, then uh, dropping the cases doesn't really matter.